We are currently on our mission down to Pine Island Glacier in West Antarctica and we will be flying a uh, about three hour survey there over the uh, glacier. Pine Island Glacier is losing ice uh, very quickly, about six meters per year. And today we will go back and refly the same mission that we have flown two years earlier in 2009. And we can compare the data that we collect today to our previous data and also to the data of the uh, ISAT satellite that has collected the surface elevation measurements there over many years. And this will tell us how much ice is being lost in West Antarctica and, and contributes to sea level rise. Two weeks ago we, we had a, uh, another mission over Pan Iron Glacier and when looking out of the window of the aircraft we noticed a fairly large uh, crack in the uh, ice shell. And uh, I talked back to uh, colleagues in the US that uh, downloaded satellite images and they reported that this crack uh, has formed in uh, sometime between end of September or early October. These things happen on a semi-regular basis in both the, the Arctic and the Antarctic, but it's still a fairly large event. So, um, so we wanted to make sure we, we captured as much of that process as we could. So today was our first trip to be back in the area, and what we did was we modified the existing flight plan to add about an extra half an hour to the flight in order to, to, to catch a flight across, along the, the direction of the rift in order to get mainly a LIDAR and photographic map of the exact shape, depth of the rift, uh, and the width of it to see how it's developing over time. At the moment, the, the crack is about 80 meters wide. But if the crack continues to propagate, it's about an, an iceberg that has an area of about 800 square kilometer that eventually will break off from the uh, Pine Island Glacier. Now, if we're lucky, we may get another chance to come back in this area later if weather and timing permits to, uh, to basically repeat what we just did today to see how the, how the rift has further developed as time goes on. A lot of times when you're in science, you, you don't get a chance to catch the big stories as they happen because you're not there at the right place at the right time, but this time we were. And these are discrete events in time, they process that take place over a period of just a few weeks. And, uh, and we just happened to be here at the right window in time to catch it.